I'm just going to show kind of how the, uh, all of the drilled pieces uh, assemble without the electronics connected so you can kind of get an idea of how, how everything goes together. So notice under here these countersunk holes. The, these flathead 2.75 inch machine screws going like that. So their head goes in through the bottom, like right there. And this thing goes on, the heat spreader goes on here. This isn't the actual order for assembling the controller. This, this is just how the controller would be assembled without the electronics, just so you can see the order. So the heat spreader on next. See that? Okay. Next is a little isolation strip PC board, uh, that FR4 material. It's about a sixteenth of an inch thick. That goes on next because we want the heat spreader isolated from the power board. So that goes on right there. Next is the M minus bus bar. This is the long one. M minus bus bar. Here's a top view of it. That's what we've got so far. Notice it's important the direction that it's, it sticks out. It points out this way so that it just shoots over maybe by a couple of inches or one and a half inches. If you have it pointing the other way, it's going to be sticking way out here. <laughs> okay. Next, what do we have next? Next we've got time to put the, the power board as the next item that would, in this order of things. So you just write like that. And then these little isolator things are what are go on right through here. See, just like that. See the outer diameter is 5 sixteenths, the inner diameter is about a quarter inch. Okay. See normally during the actual assembly process you'll have you won't do it like this. You're gonna have the MOSFETs on this side and the diodes clamped to the other side. This is just showing mechanically how it all kind of goes together though. And then this little last one, see with the big holes? They fit right over right here. See, they fit just right over the holes just perfectly. See that? So that's another isolation strip thing. And then last but not least is the steel bar that just sits right on top of that. Notice the steel bar doesn't make any electrical contact with the, the power board. It's isolated from it. Then there's just enough room to bolt them down. Okay.
Okay. So, just a little bit, just barely long enough right here, all the way through. And notice how the board sits. Okay. And then the B minus bar comes out that way and points out. And the B plus bar also points down that way. And here's a side view. This is where the diodes get soldered inside of there against that. The capacitors go right in here, right along here, down so that the tops of the capacitors are right up just against this metal plate here. And the MOSFETs go on this side, and the MOSFET, um, the gate resistors, poke through these little holes right here. Okay.